Ghana's housing deficit currently stands at 2 million housing units. To bridge the gap, government would have to build between 190,000 to 200,000 units of houses each year for the next 10 years. My colleague George Queenie has more in the following report. It is estimated that about 85,000 real estate transactions take place annually in Ghana. Successive governments, through several initiatives, have undertaken some housing projects. However, this has yielded little results as majority of Ghanaians still struggle to either rent or acquire homes. The real estate industry is key to bridging the country's housing deficit, currently pegged at 2 million housing units, but there appears to be less collaboration between government and the sector. Concerns over the years have been the overpricing of properties, which have deterred many from engaging developers. Growth in the real estate sector, however, slowed alongside the fall in commodity prices in 2014 and the depreciation of the city in 2016 and 2017. Though some affordable housing units have been made available by government and even the private sector, the challenge has been how to sell these units to the populace. In this regard, the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association, GRADA, has developed a proposal following the president's challenge thrown to them to develop at least 20,000 affordable housing units. I think that whatever we have given to the president is something which is workable. Uh, looking at our numerical strength and our experience on the ground, obviously we cannot fail. And so if uh, the president gets back to us on what we have presented to him, we think that very soon we will hear real affordable housing short cutting, not the ones that uh, ends nowhere. The proposal, which is awaiting the president's response, also captures the need to reduce interest rates for industry players, set up of a construction fund, among others, to realize the affordability in the projects. Meanwhile, Greta has outlined some annual projects aimed at giving access to real estate development in the country. Samia Megayebo is the executive secretary of Greta. It is not about the fanfare of cutting salt for housing. The fanfare should be after supplying houses and getting people into it and let them fill, it, fill in it. Okay? So um, we want to move away from that and get into the practicalities and all the technical details that we need to actually actualize the dream of giving everybody a home in Ghana. The projects include annual CEO's breakfast meeting, which will take place on February 18. Housing fairs and clinics, which will afford prospective homeowners huge discounts from March 7 to 8, publications and planned trainings. If you build a house and nobody is buying, it's, it's, it's a lot of inventory trouble to handle for yourself. So a lot of the developers have agreed because of this fair to give us whooping discounts, very, very uh, exciting discounts. Somebody was wondering, why should I come to this fair? Come to this fair because you'll be surprised at the prizes that will be offered. The housing fair will involve 50 exhibitors, which will reach a target market of over 2 million people worldwide.